for you. Gonna put it up here real, real quick for you. We got a woman. This is a woman. We got a woman who has been arrested for, they say, drug trafficking. Drug trafficking, I think, in the school zone or something like that right there. Um, Let's stroll up. Hell, they got video. They got video. Let's see what the title say. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ar arrested for drug trafficking near daycare schools, drug rehabilitation centers in Marietta. Come on. <laughs> Slow me down. Mm, wait, wait, wait. Listen, while we wait, it what? You turned into a major. Wait, damn it! All right, say so. Your drug bust in Marietta. Police say a woman is in jail, and a lot of drugs are off the streets tonight. Fox 5's Denise Dillon talked to law enforcement about how it all went down. It was an expired tag that caught the attention of police. Officers pulled the car over at this intersection. It wasn't long before they discovered more than a woman who forgot to renew her tag. This woman was hiding drugs in plain sight. It was a simple traffic stop at Lawrence and Fairground Streets. Marietta police noticed a car with an expired tag. Investigators say inside the vehicle, they found guns and a variety of drugs. There was a plethora of drugs, from marijuana to methamphetamine to crack cocaine to powder cocaine. And police say there was a lot of it, including what's referred to as a crack cookie. Those are large pieces of crack cocaine that haven't been broken down for distribution yet. She also had a scale and baggies in the car, further implicating that this was for trafficking purposes. 33-year-old Nikaila Mormon is now charged with nine felonies. Police say it's disturbing to know this woman was transporting these drugs through this area, very close to a daycare, several schools, and the zone, a substance recovery center. She's just destroying other lives. Daniel Spinney works at the zone. He says it makes him angry to know those drugs were found in this area. To be able to come this close, we have daycares in this area, we have schools in this area, and never mind this recovery center, um, and they should feel safe, and they should not have to worry about things like that being around. Police are grateful the car was pulled over before any of the drugs hit the streets. Fortunately, we had officers on patrol that were able to be proactive, and this was stopped before it ended up in any neighborhoods. Mormon is no longer traveling through Marietta with an expired tag or anything illegal in her car. She's sitting in the Cobb County Jail without bond. In Marietta, Denise Dillon, Fox. I don't like it. Drug bust in Marietta, police say. I don't like how they portraying this, baby. A woman is in jail and a lot of drugs are off. They said that she was, th that she 32. Uh, streets tonight. Fox News, Denise Dillon. Hey, we got a mouthful of goals to talk to law enforcement about yeah. how it all went down. Look at that baby. It was an now they say that she's 32, but let me, expired on. tag that caught the attention of police. Officers pulled the car over at this intersection. From marijuana to methamphetamine to crack cocaine to powder cocaine. And police say there was a lot of it including what's referred to as a crack cookie. This is a crack cookie right here. This is a crack cookie right here. This is typically how the ounces is made up when you're talking about crack. They is in cookies. If you get your 36 of them, 36 is a whole thing. 36 is a whole thing. I know, I know, I know you all is not that hip. You don't know what a whole thing is. The whole brick. It's the whole brick. 36 ounces? Listen, you hood rich. It's you hood rich with 36 of them things. That baby had like a little piece, but they all, but, damn it, it looked like she chipped off a few of them like that right there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are large pieces of crack cocaine that haven't been broken down for distribution yet. She also had a scale and baggies in the car, further implicating that this was for trafficking purposes. 33-year-old Nikaila Mormon. 33, Nikaila Mormon. What? Look at, look at, look at. You got a hope. Baby, listen, it's hard out here in these streets, and I just want to tell y'all something. The more stress that we have from what I have been thinking about, stress causes us to gray out real, real early. This baby is 32, 33. All that gray. All that's gray around now. Mm-hmm. It's been a hard life. Now, damn it, 
I mean, you might be cute though. You yeah, know, to a lot of people, that baby cute. She got the um, damn it, the hard look on her. You yeah, know, damn. But it was like she bought that life though. Ooh, ooh that baby had two guns. It is is that a three eighty? Is this a nine millimeter? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it looked like to me. Mm hmm. Got to be more careful. Oh, I thought she had stolies in too. I'm like, oh, the hell, what the hell going on? But damn it. Free my dog. Free my dog. Let her go. Let her go. Is now yeah, charged yeah, yeah. with nine yeah. felonies. Police say it's. As long as she ain't had that fit now. Because if she'd had that fit now, I'd say she need to be off earth, though. Free my dog by some regular dope. Yeah, it's disturbing to know this woman was transporting these drugs through this area. Now, listen, listen. When they go to talk about the transporting the drugs through certain areas because there's a daycare, there's a school, there's a rehabilitation center, and the people end up saying that the people in the community, they need to feel, like, safe and stuff like that, and these types of things should not be in the community. But if she was just passing through, if she's not from that community that y'all talking about, and she was just passing through, she got stopped. She did not voluntarily stop in that neighborhood. No, 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 no. So why they talking to the people out in the community? Oh my God, this stuff is in the neighborhood. No, it's just, it was going through the neighborhood. You don't know where she was going. She was probably trying to drive down to Macon, Georgia or something like that. But you don't know where she was going or where she was coming from. So, so to y'all to try to make a story of, oh, my God, the rehab center was in danger, the daycare, and, and a regular school is in danger because she was coming through makes no sense to me. But I, but I do understand that you have to make a story. I get it. I get it. I get it. What? What about the people that's in the community that's already slanging that shit? Huh? Huh? In, in, in every community, we have community entrepreneurs. Yes, we do. Very close to a daycare, several schools, and the zone, a substance recovery center. She's just destroying other lives. Daniel Spinney. She's destroying other lives. She probably wasn't even supposed to stop around there. They stopped her. Let's not forget that. They stopped her. Sometimes you got to take a certain road to get to where you're trying to go. And you got to come through neighborhood. It is what it is. Works at the zone. He says it makes him angry to know those drugs were found in this area. The drug, no, 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 no. See, that's false. The drugs was not found in that area. If she was driving, it was not found in that area. They stopped her. She was going through. Again, it's a difference if she was posted up or she was finna stop at one of the schools and or like at the zone across the street from the zone or something like that. That's different. She was riding. She was riding. You all can't put that on that baby. We come this close. We have daycares in this area. We have schools in this area. And there's still dope in your area. We play too much. And listen, listen, listen. All you have to do is ask the people at the zone where the dope holes at. But now he's out and about. Oh my God, this is just wrong. The daycares is here and the zone is here. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, pimp. All the people who's at the zone know where that work at. And it's in the community. Notice because those people who is going to the zone, they stay in the community. Damn. Never mind this recovery center. Um, and they should feel safe and they should not have. They do feel safe if they stay at the recovery center. Don't come at the recovery center. To worry about things like that being around. Police are grateful the car was pulled over before any of the drugs See? hit the streets. See, it was it was pulled over. Probably not even much fun that time. Fortunately, we had officers on patrol that were able to be proactive, and this was stopped before it ended up in any neighborhoods. Now, what she need to be held accountable at, you driving the car, and your tag ain't right, dog. Your papers ain't together. You traveling with that work and your paper ain't together. That's what you need to get some time for. You need to get time for traveling when you're not supposed to be traveling with that work. You was not clean, clear to travel with work. You don't have proper tag, insurance. You don't have driver's license. You should not be allowed to traffic that work. I'm just trying to help free my dog after she do 
like we gonna give you like 30 days because of that tag and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just wrong. That's purely wrong. Moving right along, I ain't gonna eat much.